So basically what they're asking you is take the fourth root of this number, right? Well, first of all, we need to kind of think of what number is going to multiply by itself, Anthony, to give us 1. And we know that number is going to be 1, right? So we know the fourth root is going to be equal to 1. But what we got to do is what it's important is you guys got to kind of think about your place value, all right? Um, when you multiply like 10 times 10, remember we kind of add, yes? There's only what? Oh. Yeah. When you do 10 times 10, you know the answer is 100, right? Well, if you do 10 divided by 10, that equals 1. And if you divided that by 10 again, that would equal to 0.1, and so forth, right? So if you keep on doing that operation and that operation, you're going to keep on moving over a place value. So you guys can see the fourth root is going over how many place values? From 1, 2, 3, 4. So, uh, wait, what was the answer? 1, 2, 3. So your fourth root, 1, 2, 3, 4. From there is going to be, well, if you do your 0 0.1, multiply it by itself one time, is going to give you 0 0.1, 2, 3, and 4. And you can always go ahead and double check your answer using a calculator. If you have a graphing calculator, what you guys can do, if you have a TI calculator, to figure out the fourth root, you type in the number 4, hit math, go to option number 5, and then type in 0 0.1231. And you'd get 0.1. You have to have one of these calculators to be able to do that. Otherwise, what you could do, guys, is always do guess and check. Right? What does the fourth root say? Multiply a number by itself four times. So you could say, well, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. I know it doesn't give me that answer. So let me move to the next one. Could you guys do this in your calculator? 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.1, right? And what you guys see is there's basically three products, which is giving you the three zeros that's happening in that problem. That's basically where that comes about, OK?